Hi there coaches, it's Sanai here and I want to talk to you today about um, how the state of your business is a direct reflection of your mindset and I have an analogy to share with you, not an allergy, an analogy. Um, so what do I mean by that? So the state of your business is a reflection of your mindset. So whatever state your business is in, if you feel like something isn't working, then it, it is generally a representation of some sabotage, some self-sabotaging behavior, some limiting belief, some internal conflict that you are, you are harboring, holding on to. And when something isn't working, what we tend to do is we look externally. So we start to try and change things about our business, like we'll go onto our website and start tweaking the copy or switching around the images, or we'll maybe trash some of our posts, say, no, they were rubbish and bin them. Or we will get onto discovery calls and find client after client, loving our work, really connecting. And then when it gets to the end of the call, they're saying no. And um, so you wonder, well, it's all their fault, it must be There's something wrong with the people I'm attracting. And we start to look outside and make these changes when that's not where the issue lies. And the analogy that I want to share with you is, is basically when you think about your business being a reflection of your mindset, if you think about looking into a mirror, so if you were stood in front of your bathroom mirror and you didn't like what you see, what we do with our businesses when we try and change what's external is imagine looking in the mirror, you don't like what you see, you're not happy with it, so you grab a big black marker pen and you draw the changes you want to see over the mirror. And that's never going to work, is it? That's never going to make the changes really that you want because when you step away from the mirror, guess what? Still, still the same. So what am I talking about then in terms of, um, you know, getting on a discovery call and finding your ICA, having them jump on a call with you, really enjoying the call. And then every time you get to the end, they say no. How can that be a reflection of your mindset? What is going on? And what that is, is basically it's some internal conflict, some self-sabotage that is going on right there. And it's it's the internal conflict is around how much you really want to help this person. You want to sell your program, but there's an internal conflict on the opposing side, which sounds like, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. So if you have that deep-seated belief somewhere, you know, chucking around in your subconscious, you're going to sabotage the yeses because you're going to start saying things or putting out an energy subconsciously. You can't help, but your energy is going to be something that says, don't buy me. And the reason you've got that going on is because you don't want to be found out that you're not good enough. You don't want to be found out that you're a fraud. And if somebody says yes to you and starts working with you, they might find out, well, actually, you really are not good enough. You really are a fraud. And that's a fear. And the other one that I, I see time and time again, when somebody is getting no's all the time on discovery calls, there's the self-sabotage around their belief that they, they're may not be able to deliver the results that they're promising in their coaching program. And that's self-sabotaging belief. Because if you don't believe that you can deliver the results that you're promising in your coaching program, then you're not going to want that client to say yes, because you don't want them to, to be a disappointed client. You don't want them to get to the end of working with you and not have any results that you've said they'll get. So you're not going to invite a yes on that basis. And Again, if you are putting your messages out there, you're doing what you, you know, your videos and your blogs and your vlogs and you're being really visible and nothing's happening, you pull away. Perhaps you start to kind of take your eye off the ball or you start to withdraw, you come off for a bit, you're less frequent, you're less consistent. And whilst it feels like, you know, I've been doing this for ages, I'm so, so consistent, there is something that is pulling you back because you're starting to feel a bit 
like a wounded animal, you know, going to lick your wounds because nobody's responded. Nobody's come out and booked a call with you because of your, your visibility posts, your visibility activity. And what that represents is either you pulled back too soon, your sudden recoil reaction to no response was, was to pull back. And I'm guilty of this, or I was guilty of this. You know, if I wasn't getting the validation externally, then I would recoil and I would, I would slow down on my posting. But you, this is why you have to be constantly posting, really have that um, rhino hide skin, as I call it, to just put yourself out there. A, because it's not, it's about your ideal client finding you and being able to see you and being able to trust that you're going to always be there, that you are here to stay. And that that takes some trust to believe that you're here to stay in these, you know, in social media. Um, and also she needs to see time and time again that you are for her, that your messaging resonates with her more than just the once. And also, as we all know, you know, the marketing magic number is seven you need to have seven touches with someone before they actually will choose to book a call with you or buy from you and that doesn't mean oh well I've posted seven posts and so they must have seen me because somebody might see one post and then go on holiday for two weeks come back see the next post or you know how fast social media moves the threads move so fast I was sort of imagine it like a tsunami wave, your post gets sucked up and swept along. So they move so fast. So it's about, you know, the the recoil that you've you've held on, you've you've pulled back on would be a reason why you're not gaining the traction. People aren't coming forward. It's about not giving up. It's about standing your ground, not feeling not feeling pressured by the fear and the fear of judgment and criticism and feeling like, oh, I might be a bit annoying. I might be a nuisance because I keep posting my stuff. So, you know, nobody's responding anyway. So it's clearly not working. And it's at that point when you pull back that probably your ideal client was right there on the cusp, but you gave up so you'd never know. So your the state of your business is a direct mirror image, a reflection of your mindset. If something isn't working, look inward. What is going on internally? What what thought patterns are you holding on to? What fears aren't serving you in this journey, on this journey that you're on? So I hope that helps. Um, and if you want to know more, then visit my website, beboldcoaching.co.uk. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you again. Bye for now.